Hey guys, Dr. Lindsay here, and I've been waiting to show you guys something that is so cool. So this is the world's first cat genetic test kit that you can do at home, and it's by Base Paws. So I've been waiting to get this kit, and now I have it, and I can't wait to show you guys how to use it and show you the results of my cat Pam here. Today we're gonna DNA test my mom's cat named Pam here. She's a 14 year old tabby cat that we rescued as a kitten and I've been dying to know more about her genetic makeup and her health. Base Paws compares your cat sample against the largest cat DNA database in the world to help you better understand your cat's breed composition which determines their appearance, behavior, and traits. The report provides an analysis of your cat in relation to 21 other cat breeds alongside 50 trait markers, such as folded ears or coat patterns that are associated with different cat breeds, a chromosome map to determine the regions your cat came from, and a wild cat index. It tests your cat's genetics for 63 genetic markers that are associated with 43 diseases. Your cat can be clear, carrier, at risk, or high risk for certain diseases. Early detection helps you and your veterinarian get ahead of diseases before they become life-threatening. An example of some common diseases are polycystic kidney disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, retinal degeneration, and so much more. The bonus dental health report lets you know if your cat is at risk for common yet avoidable dental diseases, periodontal disease, bad breath, and tooth resorption. With personalized at-home dental care recommendations, you can limit the costly dental procedures and avoid cat tooth extractions, diabetes, a chronic kidney disease, and heart disease, and other conditions linked to dental health in your cats. My family and I always debate whether Pam is some sort of wild cat or even Bengal cat, from her color pattern and even the way she acts. When she was a kitten, she used to hiss at us, even swat at us making me think she's definitely some sort of wild cat. So I'm really excited to see her results at the end of this video. And don't be fooled by your cat's appearance. You never know what they're made up of. All right guys, I just got the kit in the mail and we're gonna do Pan's DNA test. And it's as easy as taking a swab of her mouth. And that's something you guys can do at home with your cats. All right, so we're gonna open this box first by taking the film off of it. And it has a nice label on here so that you guys can send it back to them. Inside the box, you will get a sterile vial with a Q-tip swab in it to swab the inside of your cat's cheek with. Then you place the swab back into the vial. After this, you need to go to basepaws.com and register your kit. Then you go to the post office and send it back to them and wait for your results. All right guys, so I'm gonna take this swab out of here and carefully grab onto it and don't let this hit the floor. You don't want the floor DNA. So I've got this now, so my next step is swabbing Pam's mouth. All right, Pam, here we go. We're gonna swab your mouth. So I'm gonna hold her mouth open. I'm gonna put this in and go on the cheek. One, two, three, four, five. As easy as that. And what a good kitty, you're such a good kitty. So now that we got our DNA sample from her cheek, I'm going to twist this. We're gonna put it back in here. Twist this on tightly to make sure it's on there. And I'm gonna invert it 10 times. All right, so now that we did our procedure of getting her saliva on this Q-tip, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in this baggie so that I can send it back to Base Paws. Pam's results are here. So I printed it out, but you guys can look at it on your computers through your Base Paws account when your results get in. All right, I'm so excited to see what Pam's results say. So let's go to her breed analysis. So she's 73% Western, um, American short hair cat, which I definitely thought about that just looking at her. Um, Eastern cat, Persian, and then, oh my gosh, Pam, 1.3% bangle. I knew it, that still counts. All right, guys, so let's take a look at Pam's health markers section. 
So remember we talked about clear, at risk, or high risk. So I wanna see if she's at risk for any of these diseases. So looking at polycystic kidney disease, it's showing she's clear. Um, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, she's clear there. That's great. So now I'm just gonna flip through and go through our report and see if we're at risk for anything. Looks like we're clear there, clear on these diseases, clear all around. So Pam looks like she's gonna be a pretty healthy cat as she ages. All right guys, as a veterinarian, I love this health markers section that lets you know if your cat is predisposed to any genetic diseases. So it was great that Pam was all clear for everything, but if you guys have a cat that's at risk or high risk, just know that there's veterinarians out there that can help you. There's specialists like cardiologists, if there's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, there's ophthalmology veterinarians that can help you if your cat is at risk for any of these eye diseases too. And there's veterinary neurologists that can help you if your cat comes up at risk or at high risk for any of these diseases involving the neurons. And that's why this test is so great. All right guys, thank you for watching this video and seeing Pam's DNA results from Base Paws. If you guys wanna order a kit for yourself to test your cats, go to the description below and I'll put a link there that you guys can click on that'll take you to their website to get the kit for you and your cat. If you guys have already done one or have any questions, please put comments below. And I'd love to see you guys back here for some more veterinary videos.